Hello and welcome to Channel Sport on Sunday. I'm Ken Ochonogo. Ah, what a week, what the last 24, 48 hours has been uh, are for sports and for humanity. Uh, Tunde Onokoya. Chess. Chess, you say, is the king of sports. The king of sports. The game <laughs> of the masters. Uh, um, the game of the chessboard, the game of generals plotting wars, the game of those in the corporate world who wants to excel, and not just excel but dominate, but also a game that can be used to serve humanity. And in the last 24 hours, it's been Tunde Onokoya, Tunde Onokoya, Tunde Onokoya. And 60 hours non stop, two and a half days, a record broken, another Guinness world record before the whole world in the city that never sleeps. Wow. Uh, we'll talk about that because I tell you, sports has been the modern warfare. But instead of what war was touted to be, it now brings peace. It now brings people together. It now brings fair play. And again and again, I repeat, it now extends the borders of humanity. We talk chess, but we also talk tennis. Because it is Sissipas taking on Kaspar Ruud right there at the Barcelona Open. A repeat of the Monte Carlos final where Sissipas did his one, two, three. And at the got. No, there is no Iga Shuatek. The young Kosiuk will be taking on. Who else do you think? Not Iga, like I said. Not Savalenka, that I said. But who will be there? <laughs> Say, who watch us do? <laughs> who will be at those finals? Uh, in China, um, Verstappen won his first ever Chinese Open. But then, uh, at Chinese, Grand, uh, Chinese uh, GP, sorry. Uh, but then this dominance is like we talk about here. It is just him and him and him. Let's hope that by next season, uh, the Formula One, <laughs> other cars, the Ferraris that have acquired, you know, uh, are the Mercedes uh, henchmen will try to make amend. Let's see if they will say, will it be another Formula V like Jimmy used to see? Or this time, another you know, uh, uh, driver from another you know, Plaventale will now show us the way. But for now, it is looking like a Verstappen one, two, three, four. Wow, is it too early to call it? But that is how it is. Um, in England, the Gunners are back on top. <laughs> Somebody say it is temporary, but then you have to be there first. Somebody has to unseat you. With fewer games to play, it is becoming very, very tight at the top. It is a three-horse race, still a three-horse race. And I tell you this, I don't think any of those three teams will go on without dropping points. So, who holds the nerves as we approach the finish line? Today, also in England, Manchester United, uh, before we came on air, <laughs> the Catalan told me, said, they said, Manchester United has had 60 injury, 60, 60 injury, injury problems this season. <laughs> when you have a 11-man team and you are having 60 injury problems, probably in, you know, a less than 30-man squad, a less than first team of 18 or 22, then it tells you it has been a challenge. And then uh, uh, it takes, you know, the man management, it takes uh, uh, the luck, it takes uh, a good physio, a good physiotherapy team, you understand, you know, to overcome this. So what, is, uh, what has been the causes of these injuries and how can they, as they line up today against Coventry and see if it would be an all Manchester final, you know, uh, uh, FA Cup final. I'm talking about the FA2 uh, in Nigeria. <laughs> we have the President's Federation Cup. I, had, uh, I tell you this, I tell you this. We look at the name change from 1945 when it was the Governor's Cup up till now and how it has tapered to become, you know, uh, 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 
the president, maybe he added, this is the final bus stop because the nomenclature, the change in names, and you know, has been has been ongoing and ongoing and ongoing. Uh, uh, that for now, at least that if that would have happened with about seven or eight names, you know, since the inception in 1945. We're in 2024 now. Let's hope the FA Cup in England has remained the FA Cup ever since. Let's hope also that the FA Cup in Nigeria, or now the Federation, the President of the Federation Cup, now it has gone to that level, will remain there. Uh, the MPFL is on also tapering on uh, Rangers hanging on at the top, uh, but then the, 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 the pursuing pack of uh, uh, Lobby Stars, Remo, and then every shooting was almost in the, you know, in the top four. You know, uh, Enyimba uh, is still there, and then... Uh, Reverse United are saying, if we finish our standing matches, we might not be at the top, or probably we might also join the chasing pack. It is not too early to talk about it, because we are in the last seven, seven games of the season, just like the English season. So we're almost there. I mean, uh, that, that is part of what the MPFL you know, uh, set out to achieve, to say, okay, fine, let us end our league when the European leagues end. So by next season, you can have, between now, you can have about, in all those uh, presses, that, the endless presses that we need to play, you can plan and know when the next season is going to start. And let's see if, like what we said here, what Ulisse postulated, if we are going for a regional league, or if it is going to be, you know, a full-fledged uh, 20 team league uh, uh, next season. Season. Uh, yesterday, Bayasa United lost, uh, not paying too much attention to whatever they've done. But at least uh, they are struggling because it is as tight as the top, it's also tight at the bottom. So let's see who are going to uh, survive, who will be in, in, uh, uh, on the continent. And talking of the continent, yes, uh, uh, yesterday, Al Agli went over there to Mazembe, Tipe Mazembe, and picked a draw. But it was uh, for uh, uh, Sundance. Uh, Esperance nicked them by a, just a lone goal. So it's Esperance 1, uh, Asundan 0, while TP Mazembe played 0-0 zero, zero with Al Ali pending the return leg of the CAF Champions League semi-finals. Uh, he's in the house. We're calling the Catalan. El Clasico. <laughs> Is it going to be El Madrico? <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. See Agola, the afternoon. Catalan. Good afternoon, Ken. It's good to be back. Uh, I don't know why I'm feeling sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the El Clasico is happening today, and uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid. Real Madrid, Barcelona, because yeah. Real Madrid are going to be yeah. at home at the refurbished, at the renovated uh, Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. Same city where they played the 3 0 draw with Manchester City, where Pep Guardiola, so that was the first time he was playing in the stadium, I had a covered roof, because Madrid had to get approval from UEFA for them to cover their roof for that game. And he said the atmosphere was scary because the noise were amplified. 75,000 strong Madrid fans in the stadium cheering their team on. Uh, Barca are just coming back from... Uh, the but the company is bigger than the Benaba. Uh, well, right now, Barca have not played the company this season. We've been playing at the Monday week. That's the Olympic Stadium. Okay. I was at the Barcelona 92 Olympics. Uh, yeah. You know, so that's where Barca have been playing because they're currently renovating the Spotify yeah. company okay. right now at the moment. So uh, uh, going down to play at the Santiago Benabo. Going on to play against Real Madrid, who, yes, played 120 minutes against Manchester City in one of the most interesting, for me, the interesting, and trailing quarterfinals, Champions League, you know, and they defeated them on penalties. Uh, Barca, on the other hand, are still picking themselves up from that defeat to PSG. And nobody believed that Barca was going to get, I, I didn't believe they were going to get knocked out after what we had played in Paris, you know, but what happened on the stadium that day and all of that, Ken, I don't know what's going to happen today. I really don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to think about what's going to happen today. I wish I was doing that game, I'll be calling you. So you'll be giving me emotional support, you know? Why? Do... Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll read it. Uh, we'll come back to football, but yeah. I, want to, I, want to talk, I want to talk chairs now. Yes. Uh, um, so my first work, I, I, this thing was not, it has started before we knew what was happening. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I, we just had... Uh, you know, a Guinness record attempt. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, we've all been hearing about it. Okay. Chelsea Storm, Frank Riff, Jadidu, going back to Oshodi. Yeah. That's why when you go under the brain to pick kids. Yeah. But then here we are in the city that never slept in the big yes. apple, and then it was all about Tunde on Okoya. Okay. Ken, uh, you know, you, you maybe a lot of people heard about it, maybe probably when it started, but for some of us, I've been following Tunde for a while on uh, social media. Uh, 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 he's, he documents everything. Especially on his ex account, that's formerly known as Twitter. Yes. He documents. In fact, when he went to the embassy, 
uh, when he went to get his visa approval, you know. Okay. And he, he actually talked about what happened on that day. Because he got there and said, the visa officer asked him, are you the one that come, the convener for chess in the slums? And he said, yes, he's the one. He said, oh, very good. We like what you are doing. Visa approved. That was in March this year, you know, <laughs> you know early, early, early March. Oh, he, he had talked about it, something he wanted to do. And we've seen the steady growth. The progression, the upper projection of Tunde Onokoya and what he has been doing for the children, especially in the slums there in Oshodi. You know, going under the bridge, children that would normally be caught doing hard drugs, children that are not in school, children that relatively you would think they, look, they wouldn't have a future. He's bringing them together to play chess. I play chess, although not at his level. I know how challenging the game can be. So getting children to play that game, I mean, it's, it, that was it's something that you, we have to applaud. He, at a point, the, like, the Lagos State Governor, Virginia Samuelu, Inviting him down to the state house, uh, I played with one of his kids, one of the boys, you know, and I think the game ended as a draw after 30 minutes, you know. <laughs> but we've been seeing him putting himself out there, saying this is what he wants to do. So he had this mantra saying, big things can happen. Or can yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wish you can start. I think we will look, we'll look for that tweet. Yes. We will look for that tweet. I will take that tweet before you the know, end of the show. You know, big yeah. things can happen in small places. Like yes. Everybody around the world, when he said he was going to do it, Ken, it's, it, we also need to understand what just what happened in New York, in time. Uh, my, uh, in New York, because he had to play with another chess master. Yes. And then he, he, it was also an open challenge. People were coming in and challenging him. And he had to win every single one of those games for the record to be valid. And he went on to break that record. Ken, it's, it's, it's amazing seeing when Nigerians put their minds to something. When they put their minds to something, they get it done. go out there and do it. <laughs> I Congratulations. Want, I, want, I want to put it on hold. I want to put it on hold. I want to do something a little bit unusual here. Uh, I, I don't know uh, if my director, uh, if uh, uh, Kule, is Kule in the house? Kule Kassi, is Kule in the house? Uh, if Kule in the house, please, can Kule join us on this show? Uh, uh, where is Kule? Please, if you can. I, I, I don't want to, I want to have Kule on the show right now. I think I saw him somewhere. I hope he's still around. Uh, uh, let's see if Kule will join us. Okay. Um, picking kids from the slum. Yes. Giving kids hope. Yes. Uh, uh, all right. I think Kule is here. Kule is here. Can we have a chair? Can somebody have a chair for us? Come on. Bring Kule. Bring Kule on. <laughs> bring Kule on. Bring Kule on. Uh, uh, Kule, come in. Come in. Sit down. Uh, <laughs> can you? Can you? All right, yeah, Kule, 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 sit down, Kule, sit down, Kule, sit down. I saw him earlier, and I, I didn't, I didn't, I want to surprise him. <laughs> I want to surprise him. Uh, for those of you, for those of you uh, who are uh, fans here, who watch our show, uh, who not just watch Ch Channel Sport on Sunday, who watch Channel Television, uh, uh, Kule is the anchor of the book club. I mean, he's the master of the book, you know, he takes it over there. Talks a lot about you know the, in the modern books, published books, the you know the, the writers, the authors taking it around the world, the imagination. When I read a read book, a lot of us do not worry, a lot of us read book. <laughs> so when I know yeah. But what people don't also know, apart from that, that Kule talks about books and other things. I when uh, I was talking about you know who am I going to? Myself and Kule spoke last week, some two weeks. We've been, we've been talk, talking on something, trying to get somebody to be on the show. Uh, uh, I hope we will get that person uh, because it's something that is uh, inspiring. That you know that that we, we, we do about. So only yesterday, I saw that I seen you know uh, Tundo Nokia, Tundo Nokia, and then he talked to me. Yeah, Kule is part of the chess community in, in, in Nigeria. So who knows? Who knows? We have somebody in the house who can talk about Tundo. I mean, please. Let us and gentlemen. Yes, cool. Cool. How are you? <laughs> great, great to be here. I, 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 I'm I sorry. Feel, I, I feel awkward. <laughs> because you, you don't talk. You don't talk sport. But don't mind him. He, he, he's among those that teases me. He's among those that teases me. He every, 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 every time week. something happens to one club in Manchester, I mean, Kule will be there. I mean, he went to the end of the show. And like, Kule, who is, who is Tunde or Nokoya? I mean, I mean, what... what what is this? What is happening? What is happening? What has it done? I'm, I'm not sure Nigerians realize yet um, what this young man has done for this country. He, he's a legend, yet he's barely 29. 29? Yeah, yeah, 30, they're about. My God! He, he's a legend. <laughs> Let me put it in context for you, Ken. Right now, as we speak, yes. the candidates tournament is going on. The candidates tournament is the biggest chess tournament in the world outside of the world championship so in the candidates tournaments the best chess players commit uh, competes rather forgive me to decide who takes on the world champion, champion at the world chess championship wow it is massive right now it's going on in canada 
But if you look, if you compare the two in terms of you are just telling us about that. Mainstream, <laughs> yeah, mainstream media, the yes. kind of attention. CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera, all over Chinese the world. television, what's streaming? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. It, it, the Tunde Onokoya phenomenon is all, it has caught the world, all over the world. And it is big for chess, big for Nigeria. It, it, is, it is incredible. If so if you, if, you, if you look at that context, that everybody is talking about some young Nigerian guy playing yeah. chess in Times Square, Times Square as against the best chess players in the world competing right now in okay. Canada, then you get an idea of what we're talking about. Incredible, incredible. And in the history of the world, I mean, world chess, nobody has taken chess to this level in terms of catching global attention outside of the grandmasters yeah. playing yeah. and all that. Nobody has yeah, done you, it you know, people, people, people like us got wind of chess when uh, uh, the young Gary uh, Kasparov took on Ana, Ana, Anatoly Kapov. Kapov. You understand? <laughs> he said a 19 year old grandma. It was, it, it was a, a Russian and Eastern European kind of thing. Yeah. You know, maybe Gary P and the others are coming yeah. to this other side. Yeah. But then Kasparov, where we know you set your, your, your board yeah. and whatever it is, and yeah. you, know, you, are, you are thinking about this guy being there, then you know, we're going to go and play a yeah. computer. When yeah. the computer now became something yeah. in New York, it was all news and stuff yeah. like that. But here is a guy who says, I am going to the slum. I am going to the ghetto, I am going to the voiceless, yeah. I am going to the mass of the people, mm -hmm. I am going to give hope to those who not have it. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is this project all about? What has it been like? Uh, Ken, this is very inspiring. Uh, you, you see, I, I'm somebody who has always spoken about how people should take small things yes. and turn them into big things. Yeah. How you should follow your passion. If you follow your passion, you never can tell where it, where it will take yeah, you. Yeah. Tunde grew up in Ikurudu. He learned chess in a barber's shop in Ikorodu. He, he, he experienced luck. And because of that, because of what chess did to him, he decided he was going to use chess to take children from the slums and give them hope. That was the seed planted in his heart. And that was a seed he planted and he began to go after for many years. It's not even many years, Ken. This is too... 2018. <laughs> That he started chess in slums. Slum, slum. slum. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, Ikorodu, Morocco, uh, yeah. um, Oshodi. Oshodi. Just doing that thing, it has gone global. Um, they trained over 11, over 1,000 children across Africa, across yeah. 11 countries in yes. Africa, and everybody is talking about it. Today himself was a player capable of becoming national champion. Mm -hmm. He had that kind of capacity and talent. The national chess master. Yeah, he rose to become one of the best in Nigeria, but. Uh, he decided to pursue this particular project, and it has taken him all over the world. Ken, this is a Nigerian story. Mm. Uh, this honestly, this is a, <laughs> look where we. I'm sorry, we, we want to open the lines. Uh, and we want to open the lines. A lot is happening here, but we want to see if my director, please, if we can open the lines. We want the uh, 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 want the viewers to join us on this. Uh, something big has just happened. A Nigerian has just broken the world record. He was going for 58. He was going for 58 hours. Yeah. He now went for 60 hours, two and a half days. Uh, and that is the longest any marathon uh, uh, chest on our event. I'm only thinking without play, losing. Taking play without losing. <laughs> and that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. And he said, for those who give us those bad images, I'm sorry to say that. I mean, this is not what you think about. This is, this is the kind of news that comes. He said, out of Nigeria, something beautiful always comes out. And this story is unique. Uh, but in your communities where you are, you're talking about your passion. You understand? How are you doing it? What are you doing? I mean, where is the tunde in you that you want to bring out and get us done? Uh, uh, let us, let us, let us uh, 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 look at, for those who do not play chess, hmm? I don't know if uh, 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 this, what I'm going to say is, okay, if it correlates, you yes. understand? Uh, I see chess, like the chess board, like uh, at the pride of the lion, the lion pride. 
there is the lion king and the lioness. Mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the kingdom, the king is supposed to be the most powerful. Mm. But then, on the chessboard, it, it is the queen That's that what protects what the king. <laughs> yes. You understand? Uh, uh, in the lion pride, it is the lioness that hunts faster and bigger than the lion. I mean, so what is it about chess that draws grandmasters, that draws corporate heads, that draws kings to come and play this game? Why is it called the king of sports? Chess is the most intellectual sport in the world, undoubtedly. We are, we are talking about a game that at every point in time, you've got millions of options yeah. at every point in time. That's incredible. And, and, and that's not an exaggeration. And the greatest grandmasters over time have been fascinated by it because it is endless. You, you can't get to the end of chess. It continually challenges you. You said the queen. Uh, yeah, the, the king. Yeah, the queen is the most powerful, powerful. piece on the board. <laughs> yes. In terms of her ability, ability on yeah, the board. Yeah. But without the king, king. there is no chess. But because you, you because, once, yeah, because yeah. once the king <laughs> is captured, <laughs> that's the, game over. the game is over. Well, that is that is not supposed to have any, any sexy uh, <laughs> angle to it, but uh, it is the way it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is the king not supposed to protect his queen? No, the, the king is too weak. <laughs> <laughs> it's too, so you guys, it's go too, and learn how to play chess. Too, too, too. So you understand how a queen will be protecting his, you know, her king. You understand? Yeah, 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 in the real power yeah. that moves in any way. The, the, the pawn and the, 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 the foot soldiers that will not be moving one step at a yeah, time. Yeah. You understand? We, you have the castles that can move this side and yeah. this side. You understand? Yeah. You? We have the, okay, Manuel is on the line. Uh, let's go to Jaws and take a call from Emmanuel. Hello, Emmanuel. How are you? Ah, oh, we've lost the call. Emmanuel, please call back. Please call back. Okay, you were explaining yeah. uh, 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 these, and then uh, uh, let's for, for our viewers, uh, you're talking about what chess is yeah, all about, y yes. and why why Kunle have that? Uh, okay, Kunle, and then you know Tunde the problem. Yeah. Why Tunde has to do this? And, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think Ken. I think Tunde's why, why Tunde uh, finds chess very appealing for children, I believe, is because chess has been adopted over many years as one of the most important education tools yeah. globally. In, in fact, more recently now, FIDE has a commission. FIDE to chess as FIFA to football. Yeah. 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 More recently, FIDE has a commission now called Chess in Education, okay. which is taking chess to schools. It's trying to inculcate chess into education globally. It's a very massive project as far as FIDE is concerned. And many countries around the world are embracing the fact that chess is a very, very powerful education tool. In fact, some see it as a STEM tool. You know, so when you're talking about science, technology, uh, um, what's the full thing for STEM now, whatever it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the education, ed educationists will know that. Yeah. Um, so, so chess is now seen as a STEM tool globally. So it's very powerful. If you want to train the mind of a child, teach that child chess because he learns decision making, he learns how to make choices, he learns how to calculate, he learns how to look at things from afar, he learns how to defend, how to attack, how to make very important choices. Make sacrifices. He learns values because each piece has Value. Yeah, you know, it, 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 it's just talking about sacrifice. You understand yeah. that you, you 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 sacrifice. You understand, you know, somebody's giving you something to eat, and so this is free. You understand? Yeah. I don't know that it is a bait. How how does that work out in a war situation? Uh, why do generals play chess? I mean, I, I, I don't. You know, this look the, 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 the Napoleon of this world, those of them all that they they go back and they go back to play chess. Yeah, because it's a war game. Because if you make the wrong move, yeah. In the game of chess, you can lose it. You are gone. You have to make the right choices. And making the right choices is applicable to war, applicable to business, applicable to every aspect of life. Decision making, it, it, decision -making is, very, is very, very important. And one of the things about decision making in chess is you have to make decision based on the, your understanding of the values of the pieces. When do you exchange what for what? When do you exchange a knight for a rook or a queen for a pawn? <laughs> okay, let's go to Bayesa. We have Benga on the line. Hello, Benga. How are you? Hello. Yeah, hello, Benga. Go on. Go on. Hello. Benga, go on. Hello, you are on. You are on to us. Let's hear you. 
good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm fine. fine. Yeah. Yes, uh, I think one of the things we can use chess for in Nigeria is the, uh, we should introduce chess education in Nigeria. If not, so educational system in Nigeria is going down. I play chess a lot, and if you can the idea of introducing chess education in all Nigerian schools, it will help Nigeria better. Okay. All right, Benga. Benga, Benga is from Bayelsa, and he plays chess. I said, introduce chess into Nigerian schools, into our curriculum. Mm -hmm. You've just been talking about uh, a, a step. You're talking about, you know, uh, uh, trying to introduce this, you know, in, 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 into our. But before then, he was talking about sacrificing yeah. mm -hmm. uh, uh, what it does. But then let's, let's come back to Tunde, uh, mm -hmm. uh, because, I mean, this project is too massive. Mm -hmm. The man is looking for $1 mm -hmm. million, dollars, mm -hmm. not for himself. I think uh, probably if we can, uh, I, I, I think I would have checked if there's a way we can have that, um, you know, the link where people can donate. You understand? Because it was in his in his uh, uh, in his ex account. Yeah. I did see where he said, "Look, I want to use this money. Not I. We want to use this money. We want to raise this money uh, to uh, kind of bring help the the African child, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. the African child, mm -hmm. uh, the, the the displaced child." The disadvantaged child, Even the, the uneducated child, mm -hmm. the homeless child, mm -hmm. the, 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 the street child, mm -hmm. you understand? The uneducated child, mm -hmm. the unhealthy child, the disabled child, you understand? Now, you know, we want this is what is, is it, it, it is humanity in you, uh, uh, in it, in any other way. I don't, I'm, I'm trying to look for a better way. Mm -hmm. the, the most encompassing way you can think about here humanity. is humanity, humanity. Uh, a yeah. selflessness doing yeah. for others. Yeah. I mean, how challenging can he, how, how is it possible for him to reach this target? What can, what, what can be done? For him to register one million dollars. He's already on course, um, Ken. He's already on course. He, he, he's recognized all over the world. And um, celebrities and important people yeah. around the world have been involved in yes. his projects at one level or another. If he keeps going the way he's going, he will be able to do much more. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much of the one million he's been able to raise in this yeah. project, but he, I'm pretty sure he will raise a substantial amount of the one million, okay. which will go a long That's way awesome. in helping the education of young people. People All right, let's go to Rivers. I'm coming out hot with us. Hello, hot. How are you? Yes, good day. Yeah, good day. Yes, please let me digress a bit. This is information about the super high school coach of uh, Pontina Munike. Is it, a, is it a reality? <laughs> uh, what, what we do here, and not just on this show but on channels, is that you know, uh, we give you the authentic news. Uh, it is the okay. FA. Even even uh, the minister said in two weeks time before uh, within two weeks they will announce. The minister will not going to announce. He said the FA will announce who the Super Eagles okay. new coach is. So okay. disregard okay. whatever okay. disregard whatever it is. Uh, they are all in contention. Okay. I'm going to still there. Other people are still there. But for now, until okay. the FA announces, just just relax. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> we are already okay. there. All Thank right. You. Thank you. All very right. Much. Thank you. Thank you, Hart. Yeah. Go on. Football is it. <laughs> you know, of course, we're taking a lot of shows, but today we are saying we, we, we will tell them everything I want to have. A lot of that happening here, like we said, United States playing commentary. Yeah. Uh, uh, the MPFL is going on. A lot of things is, you know, is happening. But this is Nigeria. And yeah. this is touching. Like we said, uh, we spend so much time on football that we ignore other sports, we ignore yeah. other talents. Yeah. And here is a selfless act that is putting Nigeria positively on mm -hmm. world map. Yeah, yeah. And then this is what, this is what we're fighting for. Yeah. This is what we, like, <laughs> and he said, we already do this show for certain things. Yeah. And this is one of them. So when a point like this arise, you understand? Yeah. I don't know. So like we said before, a uh, hard call, you were saying, uh, because you talked about celebrities joining him. Mm -hmm. We saw the video. Yeah. Going to, yeah I mean, going goes. to meet him and presenting him with a chain. I don't know how much that chain was. <laughs> <laughs> because I know today he's not going to wear that chain. <laughs> he's going to put that chain. David doesn't wear cheap chains. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, know how much that chain, that chain is that, you know, that David gave to him. Yeah, you're getting me. Ah, uh, but, okay. Uh, Rag Manuel. Is it Manuel? Yes. Uh, all right, Manuel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Emmanuel. How are you? I'm, I'm doing very well. Yes. So I, I would like to, to comment on some, some issues, and especially about what Mr. Tundi did, which, which was quite impressive and innovative as well, where, okay. whereby we, we, we see how chess is, is being broadcast to, to, to the world, and we, we see how the importance of having good chess education as well. 
Yeah. And uh, according to what your your colleague also said, and we have to promote more of STEM learning, more of, of these activities as well. We have to push for more more STEM curriculum in our in our educational system, whereby children understand STEM as well and, and in general. So thank you so much and thank you to your team. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you, thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Manuel. I cannot. For those that don't know, uh, STEM is science, technology, engineering, thank you. and mathematics. And right. mathematics. Th yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Science, technology, technology engineering, engineering, and, and mathematics. STEM. STEM. Yeah. Okay, that yeah. is scientific. You understand? <laughs> uh, then we'll look at history, <laughs> law. <laughs> But you know, from what he's saying, yes, uh, I, I know quite a number of people that have not even seen a chessboard. Yeah, they mm. don't know what uh, the, the function of a room or a bishop. Chess, yeah. And mm -hmm. I'll, 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 play, I'll play against you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but quite 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 a, quite a number of people have not played. Have, they don't even know what they don't even know what a chessboard looks like. So so you 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 don't, really don't know the, the ability or capability of your mind and what your mind can do until it's actually put to the test. Because quite a lot of people don't understand that what when they did play with another national champion or a, a, a master as well as, as, as playing simultaneously with people that just randomly came to join them. You know it, it's 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 really really out of this world. It's something that we we we, we may not fully grasp it yet. You understand, but I think that, that, that's amazing. A, that's a very important point you've made yeah. because, um, and 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 we need to connect to this choice of Times Square. Yeah, it's relevant to what you just yeah, said. Times Square yeah. in New York City. Many years ago, chess was dominated by the Russians. Mm. Huh? Now, in the 1960s, stroke early 70s, okay. there arose an American genius called mm. Bobby Fischer. Okay. So Bobby Fischer became the strongest chess player in the world. He, yeah. he took on the Russian establishment mm. then, at the time when America was not known for chess at, at all. all. And Americans did not play chess. So Bobby Fischer popularized chess in America. And America being the strongest country in the world, politically and um, militarily, took Bobby Fischer's fame and then I mean, they just sort of Ampli like amplified it. Yeah, they just blew it up, the whole thing up, you know, all over the world. And it was their own way of rubbing it on the Soviet establishment <laughs> because that was a time when there was a Cold War. Yeah. Fast forward to 2024, this young Nigerian guy goes to Times Square, New York. Yuck. America, by the way, has not had a world champion since Bobby Fischer, mm. 1972. Fast forward to 2024, Tunde Onokoya goes to Times Square, New York, and puts chess in the middle of New York City, and the whole of American media beams light on mm -hmm. chess again yeah. after so <laughs> many, many decades. Years, yeah. Yeah, so, so the, the significance of all this should not be lost on anybody. We are going, we are going on a short brief. We are going on a short brief. We will come back. We'll see the lights are still open, and then you'll be part of We are going to keep him here. We are going to keep him at the end of the show. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, so he's, he's part of us today. Someday we'll, we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll do the book club. But stay with us. It's Channel Sport on Sunday. Go now. <laughs> Welcome back. It is a channel spot on Sunday. We're still talking uh, about the phenomenon called uh, Tunde Onokoya, Guinness World Record uh, breaker, 60 hours, two and a half days, non-stop, winning chess matches, winning, 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 winning. <laughs> and this, wait a second, the thing is this, uh, uh, when I learned how to, um, I learned how to do type, then we, they give typewriter. This packer, it's a, when, you, when you press the key, the team will use your hand to bring it back. You understand? A S D F. Para column L K J. Para, you understand? That's, <laughs> now that you have your phone, you never be pressing. You learn it. This letter is for A. This one is go to T. This is go to Y and stuff like that. So if you now say the way they play chess now, nah, it's like speed. That what I want to do is that they teach you speed and accuracy. That means as I've been A S D Y. The first of all, you know, the, the team will go in little by little. You start slowly, then you now start going fast. Then you now start adding one letter, add two. So that even without looking at the board, your eyes is on what you are typing and your hands are on the board. All right, let's go back and put a phone call. <laughs> Emmanuel, how are you? Fine, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Shima. How are you doing? Yeah. yeah, let's hear you. Yeah, life is good in Joss. Oh, wow, Joss. Ah, yeah. Ah, it is raining in Joss. 
Yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. That, 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 uh, that, that is that is very fearful. <laughs> because yes. the, when I went to Jaws, the cold that touched me, I see the feeling. Oh. Uh, you, you guys can have your rain. When it's not rain, invite me. I will come. <laughs> we are used to eat here. Ah, all right, Emmanuel, let's hear you. Uh, okay, what I'm trying to signal is, this guy I just started is in a very good record for the whole world. That uh, yeah. Tundewa. So yeah. I wish Nigeria and the president himself, or the governor from where the state, the state is come from, should be giving a street after him. And after that, he should visit like four or five states. Eh, then we should be giving a ransom so that others will eliminate, will come on board. But Nigerians, we like spending money on unnecessary things, not on women. That is what I'm trying to advise. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, Kule just told us here that he is actually from Lagos State, from Ikorodu. Uh, we, we claim him. You know, he's, our, he's our own. So, just where you have your own, keep your own. <laughs> but this son, uh, uh, he is from Ikorodu. He is there, and that is where he is from. Uh, uh, okay, 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 um, where is in the house? Okay, how are you? Yeah, thanks, Ken, for having me. Uh, talking about uh, typewriting. Yeah, I, I did, you, did you learn also learn typewriting? Did you learn? I, I learned typewriting because, you know, I, I had to type my articles. Okay, So I okay. had to, I had to okay. type. And, uh, but were you, looking at, were you looking at the board? When, uh, when yeah, you know, you know uh, your, this, eye, your this, eyes will be at the... No, my, my eyes can never be elsewhere. I have to look. You have to, okay. I have okay. to look. <laughs> at times, the typewriter will be so busy at the business center, and I have to type okay. by, 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 by myself. So you have to learn how to and, type. And, uh, of course, you know, typing and short hand yes. were wide subjects. Exactly. <laughs> so, so, you are, you, you are, so it's not just uh, by the roadside. And... I think uh, Professor Shiba, you want to say something about his typist. I think so efficient that he had to take to world, uh, the when Prince Ajibola was president of World Court, he had to take the typist from Idila to, to The Hague. To The Hague. As I then, the typists were like uh, the tax master. I'm telling you. Very, very indispensable. I'm they are, they are, they are, that is what they call a secretary right now. Yeah. <laughs> some, some of them would have, you know, that's like the, you return it. They will, they will, it will not go by itself. Yes. When you get to the end, you will return it. You, then you do your spacey. See, you guys don't know. You know, you see that, you just do it. You, you do what? You do email. You do it on your phone. Uh, <laughs> before you send one letter, eh? before you finish typing one, and, and, it, and in an up to that, only one, of course, the tippers yeah, will be yeah. there when you make a mistake. You tippers, I take it back. The tippers, you, you, you talk, and sometimes, you have to, if you use the TPEX, you blow it. Yes, so it will drive faster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you really did it. <laughs> okay, we're talking chess, we're talking sports. Uh, um, let's see, uh, also, we're, we're, like we're saying, let's talk a little bit of football. Uh, uh, Kula says a football person, we we'll involve him if he, if, 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 he, will, he will tell us if he doesn't know, but he knows. Uh, <laughs> For the lesser club. <laughs> <laughs> He's from a lesser club. Why do you talk like that? <laughs> don't, don't, don't go there. I mean, so what do we expose ourselves on this set? And we'll tell people where they come from. You understand? Yeah. Uh, either you're you supporting your club in Nigeria and your, uh, your Jack Mark club. Mm -hmm. We'll do all that. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, uh, the Federation Cup, the, now we have the Federation Cup. I grew up knowing it as the Challenge Cup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Challenge Cup. You understand? <laughs> so if, even till tomorrow, I try to call it the Challenge Cup. You said so two weeks ago. <laughs> so I grew up in a Challenge Cup. So let, let us, uh, uh, I, I, I would have gotten a slide for it, but let us see if we can't get it. We'll, we'll put it down probably next week or so we want to discuss because this thing is still uh, 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 unfolding, unfolding story. Um, the Challenge, the, the, it was first founded in 19... 45 in 1945 yes so from 1945 to 1953 it was not oh beautiful there is oh well thank you thank you my producer thank you so much uh 1945 1950, it was known as the governor's cup yeah. yes 1954 to 1959 it became the nigerian fa Cup. 1960, when we got Nigeria got independence. When we got independence in 1960 to 1998, that is where we, we, we know we knew it as the challenge cup. You yeah. understand? Yeah. When Rangers won it in 75, 76, 77, it was the challenge yeah. cup. Mm -hmm. Then it now became from 1999 to 2008, it was the ITO cup. Then it's now 2023, it was the Nigeria version of They don't call it Tingo Cup. I don't know how that is, whatever it is. <laughs> but right now in 2024, we are now going back to the, the we are now other president. The President Federation Cup. Now, this cup has now gone into Asso Rock. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think there will be any change. No name change again. I, I don't understand. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Take on this. 
the governor's cop was yes. actually uh, Governor Richard. Okay, that is when he started. Who was the president? Yeah. Yeah. The governor was the president. Yeah. The governor general. Yeah. 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 Yes, general. Yeah. Yes. Governor general. Yes. Yes. Richard yes. Constitution yes. of 1946. Okay, so they are returning yeah. it to where it started. Can you guys see this? Okay. Yeah, but I, I think there's a problem with constantly switching the name because it affects the brand of the tournament. The English FA Cup has been on for. Correct me if I'm wrong, over 100 years or so. Yes. It's the yes. same English FA Cup, but then that, regardless of... Uh, but they have, they, have a, a, they have a poor cousin. I'm sorry to use the word poor. They have a, you know... A, 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 Car a, 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 okay, let us see the history of the Carabao Cup. Yeah. I want to show you something. Okay. <laughs> the Carabao Cup, as they know it now, started actually in 1960-61. Okay, Gula, you can take that. Oh, wow. <laughs> it became the Football League Cup. In 1981 to 1986. It became the, the Milk Cup. Milk Cup. In 1986 to 1990. It became the Little Woods Challenge Cup from 1990 to 1992. <laughs> Umbello's Cup, yes. 92 to 98. Yes. Takula Cup, 98 to 2003. Watson Cup, Cup, Cup uh, 2003 2012. Carling Cup, 2012 2016. Captain One Cup. 2016, 2017, 2017, and now it is EFL. That is, okay, it is EFL. Uh, uh, 2016 to 2012, Capital One, and then there is, uh, it is now the Carabao Cup, which is now, uh, uh, no, no, that, that the first one is not the, the, the Carabao Cup is here, which is 2017 to uh, 2027. Can we correct that? Uh, the, Carabao, the Carabao Cup is 2017 to 2027. Uh, uh, that is uh, the Carabao Cup, cup. 2017, 2017, that is it. It is the EFL Cup that was in 2017. Then after that, there is the Carabao Cup, which is what is now. No. So they gave it 10 years. Mm. I, I think it has been bearing the name of sponsors, title sponsors. sponsors. Okay. Yeah. You understand? That's right. Yeah. Uh, because it was, when it was Washington Cup, mm -hmm. when the uh, uh, match of the United and so first, they were too big sometimes to play. Mm -hmm. You know, bring the player for that team. Mm -hmm. And then the, the people, the, 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 the sport journalists then in England started calling it the Not What It Cup. They changed Washington to Not What It Cup and stuff like that. But then uh, you can see that right now, even big clubs are playing because now there are a lot of big clubs. Mm -hmm. I mean, for there are two or three big clubs, so you just pick the, once you win the league, you are challenging. Why would I, I waste my time? But even if you win the Carabao Cup, you understand? It means you have you have held it now. They have won something. <laughs> yeah. have won when the Pep came, yes. they told Pep it yes. was a not what it called. Yes. Yes. Until Mourinho won in that season and he made the old noise about that competition. <laughs> and that was why Pep came and got it like three times. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, because you have to. Not, it's not, but you are alluding that because Mourinho make noise about it. I don't want to agree with no, you. No, no, Pep did not take it seriously. No, I, 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 think, I, think, I, I think it was Jose Mourinho who first, who, who was the first big coach in England yeah. to start taking very the so-called small Because cops. they couldn't win the small very, ones. Very seriously. Very serious. Because they couldn't win the small ones. Ken, but yeah. I think, I think uh, <laughs> we've, we've, been, we've been talking about this brand thing. Yeah. Um, I don't think we need to make us um, take it back to our soul. Well. This is for the Federation. That is their identity. Then again, uh, we just saw the uh, groundbreaking achievement with the English FA Corps. So while we're making geometric progression, we are making geometric regression. I'll tell you why. Um, Niger Tornadoes yeah. and Niger Tornadoes with that team yes. played the state FA Cup final. Now they are meeting the yeah. land of 64. Whoever did that, 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 that draw, yes, that, that, that is a good question. The lines are actually, actually, the lines are still open. You can still join the conversation. Based on about the FA Cup draws that we've done, um, a lot has happened in the, uh, in the link in the past, this last year and now. Um, uh, with the GTI people that also signed this with mm -hmm. the Ministry of the Ministry of your uh, uh, sports Sport. development. Um, formally, we, we have, in fact, those who won the FA Cup, I'm not even sure if Rivers United have collected, they yeah, won the league two money. years ago, two years ago, if they, if they pay them uh, 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 the, the, the money, money. their prize money for really? winning the league. So, yes. I mean, Rangers, Rangers oh, won, the, yes, Rangers won the FA Cup, <laughs> I mean, the, okay, the President Federation Cup. They won it three years, but I don't think it had been paid. For, but there was a backlog of about four for five years of non-payment. I mean, you just go there, and then you ask the clubs. You ask the clubs mm -hmm, themselves mm -hmm. to take up the damages of the referee, the match commissioner, and everything. Oh, wow. Are you getting me? But these things have changed. Right now, if you're appointed, in fact, the, the a MPFL board knows nothing about what, how you are going to get your money. The moment they send the list, mm -hmm. you send your account number, mm -hmm. this pay you your money. Mm -hmm. 24 hours, mm -hmm. your money is in your account. Mm -hmm. So there's no record of backlog. As we speak, there are still referees 
that were all three, four years wow. of what you know. So a man is going to officiate, and they say it's the home team. So the home team put you in um who is that, the piper the taste no, no I, want to, I, I want to look at i want to look at the kind of hospitality that you receive you understand <laughs> what i would tell the story of inalo the baba, the baba in my town you understand you know what he does you know because if your mother takes you to inalo so say okay go and bab your hair in actually take three pence to bab the hair but if your mother give you one penny and you go there and look at you, say, how much the mother give you? Say, so, and I will collect your one penny and bob one third of the head. I <laughs> take you back. <laughs> <laughs> your mother will have called, they screaming. And then they will, they will arrive at two pence. You understand? Okay, now, please. And so, right. But he will never send you back. Oh. So he, that's the thing. So if you, the, the, the referee said to, I remember when they told Niger Tornados, it was Niger Tornados, Enyimba, FC Fanyoba, when they were compensating, 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 are from bad officiating, we, do, we took we took we took it up here. Yeah. Are you get it? So anyway, let's come back. There is good news. I'm talking about it. I was talking about chess. I want to look, guys. Go and learn how to play chess. It's not. I'm not saying whatever it is. Chess board. I don't think it's a big cost in this country now. But you can get a chess board. Like it's somebody learned from the bar shop. Barber shops. You can afford to have it. So you guys can you know do that. Salons. You can get it. That's a catch them young schools. I mean, uh, uh, the ministries of education, and then of course there is the. Uh, super, uh, superb, yeah. there is yeah. superb and other things. I mean, you can afford to send one or two chairs, but I'm just, can, what can, else are you guys doing? Can, and you guys are doing something in that regard. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yes. Can, can, let me let me uh, create another, provide another context. Okay. There is a chess revolution going on in Nigeria right now. Beautiful. And Tundi Onokoya is in the thick of it. Okay. You know, uh, um, the last few years in Nigeria has seen an explosion of chess in terms of the number of chess tournaments across the country, the number of children who now participate in, who, who get trained in chess. Schools have adopted chess coaches across the country. In May, there is a national schools team chess championship. Wow. Where's, it, where's it taking place? It's going to take place at the Zumba Mbadewe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And right now, as I speak, I think over 200 schools across the country have registered and more are still registering. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So uh, the National Chess Championship, which happens every October in Nigeria, has exploded. Right now, it will interest you to know that the current National Women's Chess Champion is an 11-year-old girl from Yenagua in Bayelsa State. It's incredible. It's incredible. So, 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 but it so happened that when all these things started to happen, Tunde Anokoya had started chess in slums okay. and because of the kind of attention it was getting in the global media space it was also impacting on the way corporate organizations locally view chess and became more willing to support chess so there is something happening there's a bigger picture here than um, Tunde just playing chess, yes. breaking world record. Something is happening in Nigeria, and the spiral effect is all over the place. Schools adopting chess, primary schools, secondary schools, universities, more chess coaches, more chess tournaments across the country. Prize monies for chess increasing, and more media space. I mean, do, do we have a, like a, 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 a university chess championship? Well, Nandra University Chess Championship. This okay. National Schools Chess Championship yeah, at juniors and seniors has tertiary okay. um, level there. Okay. But there's also the Nuga Games. Chess is very prominent in the Nuga uh, Games. No, I, I, is uh, it, but the Nuga Games. The, are, the, the, the Nuga yeah, Games. Uh, I have uh, the same thing I have with the Nuga Games. Is in, is in uh, I have with our uh, when we host all this, this our our national uh, sports festival. Sports, 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 festival. sports festival. I have said. Remove that, of course, when it was, uh, uh, when the concepts, you know, when it was mm. conceptualized, it was kind of bring the country together, uh, country after the war, yeah. you know, bring the culture, come together with modern culture and sports then. Uh, but right now, we, have, we, have, we, have, we are now one. We have, it, 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 it's, it's United Nigeria. There is oneness in us. We should go to a championship. Let's go to Abuja. Let's go to Abuja. Let's go to Abuja. Hello. Yeah, please. Good afternoon. I wanted to know why our government, both state and federal, what it's supposed to do. Is it something like that that has a free? Is the federal government 
they're supposed to, you know, bring you up. But you will see them say we can pick the dream. That is very bad. Very, very bad. What is happening in our country here is what I don't like. That is my view. I don't like it. I don't like it. Government, state or federal, supposed to own something like a committee that will be after our people that have a great a vision, a great dream, so that things will be working for us very well. You know, we are only raising our points to oil. There are some you see that can build okay. a mighty things like uh, vehicles and all the rest of them. But if it's outside, you know, other, other this is to take those people in without bringing them out. Some of our people that travel outside this country that have a very good dream, they lock them out. They don't want them to come back. Because we'll, we'll do that. Sport, yeah, sport, will, bring, sport, will, bring <laughs> sport will bring them back. Sport will bring them back. Yes. Sport will bring them back, sir. Sport will bring them back. Uh, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, uh, we're, we're, we're about closing. But before, before we come to him, uh, uh, as we close briefly, um, Arsenal won the league. Unbeaten 2003 2004. Unbeaten. Unbeaten. Um, With draws, three draws. Javier Alonso has won the league, the Bundesliga, unbeaten. unbeaten. Now, there are about five or six more matches remaining. If he loses any of those matches, would they say he won the league unbeaten? Ken, technically, he won this league unbeaten. In, in, in theory, yes. In practice, yes. he won it unbeaten, unbeaten but yes. in theory, it will not be unbeaten. <laughs> okay, uh, your, your, your last word in 60 seconds well, to the chess world. Uh, to, to the chess world, I say, hooray, we are doing it. Yeah, yeah, because some of us have been so passionate about chess and yeah. we've always wanted chess to have the kind of national uh, uh, um, popularity and right. fame. And Tunde Onokaya is helping with that now. Everybody, even those who don't know what a pawn is, that's it, chess, chess, chess. Yeah, chess. Yeah. <laughs> so so that, that's good for us yeah. and let, let's, let's keep... It. All right. Mm -hmm. He says, hooray. All right. And I say, thank you, Tundo Nokoya. I say, thank you, chairs uh, are from the slum, you know, to the stardom, to the city that never sleeps in New York. I'm Ken Ochanogo. God bless Nigeria. <laughs>